Today, Hem and I explored District 1. Despite usually keeping sightseeing to myself, Vietnam being a dream destination made it impossible not to share. Our day began lighthearted while visiting landmarks like the Under Construction Cathedral, Book Street, and the Post Office. It became a bit more somber when we stumbled upon the venerable Thich Quang Duc Monument, where the Buddhist monk famously self-immolated in protest during the war era. Standing there was surreal, surrounded by the stunning memorial and park. Next, we visited the War Remnants Museum. As an American myself, I came into this visit with a level of awareness. This awareness is what sparked my desire to visit Vietnam many years ago. I knew about the atrocities committed during the war, and I've seen the images and heard the stories but nothing quite prepares you for the experience of standing face to face with the stark realities presented in this museum. But here's the thing, despite the discomfort, despite the pain, I truly believe that visiting the War Remnants Museum is a necessary experience for any American traveling to Vietnam. It's not about assigning blame or dwelling on guilt, it's about acknowledging the past, confronting the truth, and striving for understanding. It's about showing respect to the Vietnamese people, honoring their resilience, and recognizing the importance of our newly found reconciliation. It's about fostering empathy and compassion, and perhaps finding a path towards healing. So after a busy day of sightseeing, we decided to head out and do what I do best, eat. What's up everybody? Tonight I have made my way over to District 10. This is the Hotiki Street Market. It's a flower market. We are gonna come through here check out a bunch of foods. I have been given recommendations from somebody on Facebook of a bunch of things that they need to try around here. Let's check this out. Where we're stopping back here, I can't give you names of places that we're coming to right now. I am just gonna stop everywhere. I'm getting dishes that people have recommended to me. This is called, I am gonna attempt this. Hopefully I don't mess this up horribly. Goi do do koba. What's the matter with you? What this is is a papaya salad with black beef jerky. Uh, I've done a lot of research on it. This was recommended to me by someone on Facebook. As best I can tell, it's just beef jerky. What makes it black, I don't really know. Uh, there's some peanuts in it, unripe papaya. It looks like there is some um, basil in here. There's some rice crackers in here, some peanuts. So let's just see. Here's the uh, black beef jerky. I, I don't know what is supposed to be the big deal with this. Let's see. It's very much a beef jerky consistency to it. There's a sweetness, there's a subtle sweetness to the meat itself. Oh man, that's awesome. Are you gonna bite just with papaya? The papaya is freshly grated. When I think of a papaya salad, I think more of like a tom sum from Thailand which is kind of marinated. It's got a lot of juiciness to it, so it softens the papaya up. This is extremely crisp, extremely crunchy. Oh man, that's good. Oh yeah. You guys know what I gotta do here. I gotta go chili. So we're gonna throw some of this chili on here. I'm gonna get some of the straight chilies. I'm gonna grab some of the beef jerky. Some of the papaya. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that is amazing. That is so good. Beef jerky papaya salad, uh, despite the fact that I still cannot communicate with anybody like very little and it is a hundred percent on me these guys are amazing their food is awesome come check them out down here all right this is something i'm super excited about right here 
Uh, this is something that was recommended to me. It's kind of in, a, in the vein of Baloo, uh, and that's it. I'm gonna look over at the sign to make sure I say this right for you as best I can. This is Thrun Cut Lan Xiaomi. And what this is, is a partially fertilized quail egg in a tamarind sauce. Uh, looks like there's some peanuts on here. This is either basil or cilantro, but let's see. I don't know if that's gonna focus all that well for you. Hopefully I have another shot there for you. This is the photo fertilized quail egg tamarind sauce. Let's go. Unlike Baloo, you don't get that pure eggy taste that you get from Baloo. It's a little bit more developed, so you're getting a little bit of a crunchy bit with it. The egg white, which becomes calcified once it starts to ferment, it's a bit chewy. There's not a whole lot to it. The tamarind sauce is amazing. It's pretty damn good. Like I like Baloo, so this is not gonna. This is gonna be a no-brainer for me. Oh, see the white on it there? That's the calcified part from the egg white itself. And it's hard? Yeah, I mean, you've had balut before, yeah? Just the sauce. <laughs> but you've seen a balut all the way open up. There's that little white disc down at the bottom of it, and it's just like an eraser. It doesn't have any flavor to it. But you can bite through it? You can bite through it and you can chew it. It just doesn't have a whole lot of flavor, and it's left in with the quail sauce. Wait, wait up. Oh, man. It's like there's a little fried onions in here. Uh, it's definitely not cilantro. To be honest with you, the tamarind sauce is a little bit overpowering, so you don't get a whole lot of flavor from the herbs in it. You notice that they're there in your mouth, but that's about it. The little quail eggs, unbelievable. Oh yeah. Onion, onion, baby shrimp, hot and pork, cheese and sausage. Okay, we're gonna try that. Next thing I'm trying here, this is called Ban Tran Rong. This is uh, basically a Vietnamese pizza, as you saw her putting everything on it over there. Uh, it looks amazing. We're gonna give it a shot, see how it goes. There is pork in here, there's corn in here, there's cheese in here. Uh, baby shrimp. There's a lot of different stuff inside of here. She's got a chili sauce on this. There's all kinds. So let's give it a go. Oh. Very crispy little piece that's going on. Tons of little flavor in this. Like you can't go wrong with this. And this is extremely inexpensive. Bam <laughs> just made a great point. Like. Think of these along the lines of a nacho. Uh, just kind of folded it over itself. It's a great big giant nacho stuffed with all kinds of goodness. Like these are fantastic. Oh yeah. I'm still in a situation here that as I walk along, I have no idea half of what I'm looking at. So as you guys see signs behind me or next to me, tell me what it is that I'm looking at here and what else I should try. When I was reaching out to people on Facebook, I'm just trying to watch out here and make sure I don't get run over by a motorbike. Uh, when I was talking to people on Facebook, one tour guide that does this area a lot here highly suggested that I do these Cambodian style beef skewers that they have here. So I'm going to give these a shot. <laughs> The name of the tour guide that told me about this place, her name is Jamie. She wanted to do a little bit of a collaboration. We couldn't make it work out for whatever reason. She's one of the ones that suggested that I come here. She highly recommended these. So this is Pan Po Mai. With the Pan Po Mai, they're beef skewers and they have cheese on them. And then you get a little bit of a salad with it, which is a, looks, it appears to be papaya. Uh, the sauce is on it. I'm gonna guess it's like a sweet chili sauce. Uh, I don't have any idea what the other is. Gonna have to deal with the motorbikes. It's just what's gonna happen to happen when we're down here. So we're gonna give this a shot. Here we go. So bump on my. This is a Cambodian style beef skewer with cheese on it. Let's go. Think satay. It's very much what it's like. The cheese is actually a nice touch on it. They're marinated beautifully. 
little smoke grill that he's got there. These are fantastic. Oh, it's good. Let's try this little salad. Like I said, it appears to be papaya. Some type of little sauce on it. I have no idea what it is. Let's give it a go. That is a really nice touch. Works well with the beef skewers. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Next thing we're trying here, this is something called Falabo. Uh, this also came recommended to me as soon as I heard about this. I was like, yes, please. Uh, this is a, basically it's a curry with a bunch of innards in it. I think it's beef innards. I'm not 100% certain. You get a fresh banh mi or a baguette with it. And you're supposed to dip into the sauce and you eat your little soup. So I'm going to tear just a piece of the banh mi off. But I want to try this broth just on its own. Nothing else yet. It's like no curry I've ever had before. It's very flavorful. You get it in with the baguette a little bit. You get almost this sweetness that kind of comes popping out of the whole thing. But I don't know what we're grabbing here. Just grabbing something. You guys tell me what that is. That's liver. Without question. And that's beef liver, because I'm not the biggest fan of the world of beef liver, so you notice it immediately. With the soup and everything else, it all works really well. I'm not 100% certain, but from the texture of the outside of this one, this looks like this is probably stomach. It's like most stomach. Doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it. It tastes on the broth. I have no idea what I'm grabbing here. We just gotta go for it. Get some fresh herbs in there. Yeah. The only thing in here that has a strong flavor to it is the beef liver. And I personally, it's not that beef liver is all that bad. It's just I have childhood trauma from being forced to eat beef liver when I was a kid. The soup is beautiful. All the other parts are great. It's just the beef liver. Oh, that is nice. Wow. I, I literally could not begin to tell you what that is. Oh, man. That is good. Wow. Falabo here is awesome. This guy makes a great one. If you're in the area, come check this out and see what else we can get into. Are you I'm on the quick stop for ice cream. This is a mango passion fruit. She's got what appears to be an ube. It's hot out here. It's nighttime. It's super hot out. That is super refreshing. All right, I've had just about enough. I ate way too fast in there. Uh, Hotaiki Market, I believe that's how you pronounce this. This place is awesome. This is what you're looking for if you come to Vietnam. Uh, we're gonna wrap this one up here right now though. We did get some uh, balalo, Incorrect. which is grilled beef skewers wrapped in batel leaves that we're gonna take home with us. But I'm wrapping this one up. You guys be sure to tune in next week, see what else I get up to. I am super full right now.